Well, good morning, everybody. It's your good buddy 650 Eve here, and I hope you're having an outstanding day. Today, my travels have taken me to Barber Motorsport Park near Birmingham, Alabama, and I'm gonna engage in an awesome track day. So before we can head to the track, we have to get the bike prepped for track use, and we talked about what's entailed in that in the R3 track prep video, but our good buddy Zach here had to do some stuff here to the, uh, the V4R. Yep, we just safety wired the fill plug. So that'll pass you through tech and then I'm surprised they didn't drill the drain bolt, but they did and it's kind of, I can't really get a drill bit in there. Okay. So we're stuck with the orange silicone on that for now. All right. Next time we do an oil change, we'll drill that. That way you can be wired and ready oh, perfect, to go. Zach. Thank you. And then we just put the black off plates on and that was about it. Supposedly uh, the rest has been accomplished. Yes. So we took the mirrors off and we put these outstanding mirror block off plates on by Rizoma that actually came with the bike. And uh, they look great. They oh, hold, yeah. That is so yeah. cool. They'll hold the fairing in place. Especially the fact that Rizoma and Ducati teamed up on that. That's cool. Zach, is this your first time seeing a V4i? first time I? seeing it. It's what do you think? amazing. The paint on it, I swear, is even brighter than the other Ducati. These <sighs> winglets are freaking huge. Yes. It looks cool. I can't wait to hear it run. Well, we can we do that whenever you're ready. Yeah. A lot louder, a than, lot the, louder. than the 1103? Why is it so much louder? I have no idea. I was the hoping you could exhaust, tell me. <laughs> same exhaust. Yep. The other bike was so quiet, like that literally hurt my ears. Yeah. That thing's badass, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the throttle response is so crisp and right there. Wow. Yeah, I think that yeah. yeah, I think so. All right, they put a little thing on the side Yes, I saw, yeah, I mentioned that in my video. Easier for it to get off now. And that'll be it. And then I'll bring it back to Zach when I return from the track to restore it back to a street bike and so Zach can ride it. You're yep. looking forward to riding it, Zach? I'm looking forward to riding it, especially <laughs> after hearing it. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. That is awesome. Thanks yeah. for bringing it by. It's raining and too wet today, so. Yeah. We'll see you when we get back from Barber, Zach. All right, have a good one. Yep. experience <laughs> on my R3 I'm gonna follow my buddy Jason on his uh, V4S
Barber. Tires were brand new. The bike only had 16 miles on it, and the tires were really cold at the time. And I went down basically on the first turn. And boy, was I surprised when that happened. Thank goodness I had my Alpine Stars Tech Air suit. The airbag did not deploy, so that's awesome. And I'm a glass half full type of guy instead of a glass half empty. And uh, I'm just glad that I was on the R3 instead of my V4R. Because <laughs> that would have been super, super bad. But uh, I picked myself up after that agricultural experience and uh, dusted myself off and rode a little slower, got the tires up to speed, learned, relearned the track since I hadn't ridden here in uh, over a year. And uh, that was fine. So now I'm gonna go back out on the track on the V4R and give it a dance. And hopefully it won't end up in bad shape like my beautiful R3. All right, so this is the last session for the day. And it will be my second time riding the V4R. And I'm really enjoying it. Riding with my buddy Jason, outstanding. Nice meeting you. Nice you too, man. My pleasure, anytime, man. Thank you. Yep. So this is the last ride of the day. I'm behind my buddy Jason. He's also on a V4. His is a V4S. And he weighs exactly what I weigh. So we have really good battles. <laughs> what an amazing machine, the Ducati V4R, on the track, it's home, place, where it belongs, it just feels like the bike is planted to the road, and the gearing is so tall, Now this is the corner where I had my agricultural experience on the Yamaha R3, so you can see why I take it a little gingerly. But once I spin out, then I'm good to go. Let us go. This track, this bike only really needs second and third gear. At least for my skill set. This quickly catches up to the other bikes. Without a problem. 
Bravo! Well, we got some fantastic motorcycles here. Look at this beautiful Ducati V4 over here with this not for resale, retail, uh, beautiful Terminoni exhaust, unlike anything that I've ever seen. It looks very nice. If my good buddy Manny can get his hands on this one, that would be much appreciated. And he's got everything exposed in his engine. It looks great. Looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, he has BST wheels. Very nice bike. Special shout out to my good buddies Ducati, Alabama, Desmo. They're really great hosts. Welcome me into their pit area. My good buddy Jason here has two V4s. A V4S as his track bike. And he rides the base V4 on the streets. And all of his parts, the beautiful gloss carbon fiber, all over this bike he purchased for my good buddy Manny and Moto Million and boy do they look really really beautiful very very neat and tastefully done all right the day is done here at Barber and although I had an agricultural experience on my beautiful brand new Yamaha R3 see this is the good side nothing wrong with this side at all brand new didn't crash on this side but this side is where I went off on the very first turn of my very first session today. But that is okay because I picked myself up and with the encouragement of my friends that I met here today, my good buddy Jason over there, they all pretty much made me get back on this bike first, ride a couple laps, and then I jumped on the beautiful V4R and rode that the rest of the day here and it was absolutely amazing. I didn't really do much vlogging while I was on the track because I was trying to stay focused. But this bike was absolutely, as you well know, made for the track. Everything about this bike, from the traction control, the wheelie control, and I had my wheelie control set at level three. It would allow me to come up to about three o'clock, but it would gently, not abruptly, put the bike back down and allow me to coast right down the straight. The way that the winglets keep this bike planted is absolutely brilliant. A lot of people have commented that they didn't like the look of the winglets, but they're absolutely gorgeous on this bike and they work. They're fully 100% functional. But there's one thing that you don't hear about when people talk about the beautiful Ducati V4 and specifically the V4R is the visceral feeling that you get from this motorcycle when you're riding it. The way that it snorts and grunts and the way that you have all that power at your disposal from its 998cc V4 engine is absolutely outstanding. The counter rotating crankshaft, this is where you actually experience that on the track. I mean, you feel that when you come out of a corner and the bike doesn't want to wiggle out of control in the back and it just straightens up and shoots down the straight. That is, you can't just describe. I tried to describe it as best I could but it's very, very difficult. And also, the gauges on the motorcycle, they look really, really good, easy to read. You can always see your RPMs, uh, your speed if you want to, and it has a track setting where you can actually see your lap times, which is absolutely outstanding. I just can't say enough about this motorcycle. How does it compare to my V4 Speciale? Totally, 100% a different motorcycle. And you really have to ride it to fully understand that. The V4 1103cc, it's totally different than the 998. Um, this bike, the way it delivers power is totally different. It's more stable, more planted, more firm, and very, very predictable. So yes, I enjoyed riding the Ducati V4R in its natural setting at Barber Motorsport Park here today, and I will be back for many, many, many more track days. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Behind the camera right now is my good buddy, Joey. Shout out to him. I'm gonna put him on the camera. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. For uh, manning the camera today here at, the, at Barber, man. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you. I, 
just meeting you, experiencing you. I didn't know that you were going to be here today, and you were, and I, had, I got your signature and everything. I just, I, I couldn't help it. I appreciate your experience. It's my pleasure, man. Definitely my pleasure. And I will be back out here again soon, and we'll link up again. All right, sounds good. Awesome.